Michigan Diamonds and to non-league football, well, it, it's just breathtaking, really, isn't it? One day, this team will be a will be a league side. I've absolutely no doubts about that. Hi, guys. Welcome back to AFC Rushton and Diamonds. Obviously, it's me, John, A.K. Okay, old man, Suda. Um, and things have been okay. They've been a bit mixed. Um, we'll get straight into it, actually, because... I don't want this to be a very long episode. Um, I'm running. Out, I've been running out of time really to do this, so uh, we need to get through it quite quickly. Obviously, we are at the end of January, so we're beginning of February now. So it does mean that we've just gone through the January transfer, and uh, we'll get straight into it. And I'll show you the transfers. We've made four transfers. Um, I think Barlow was the last one I showed you. So we've got Mafias Fuchs, um from Liverpool on loan, uh, central defender. Looks decent, got quite great physicals actually. I feel um, not bad mentals at all, and he's okay on his um, technicals where it really sort of matters. I think he'll do a good job as a bit of a cover for us in the central defence. Um, it's an area I felt we really did need to improve. Uh, next player we've got is the one and only Tom Cleverley, uh, obviously former Manchester United, uh, Everton. I went to Aston Villa, played for a little bit. Um, Well-known player. He is 35 years old, but I just feel. Um, if you take away his physicals aren't massively bad but they're not brilliant either but he's got brilliant uh, technicals and brilliant mental sort of attributes and I just feel like again he'll be a good sort of covering player just to help us out this this sort of year uh, maybe next season as well uh, we've got Liam, Green, Liam Greenshaw as well uh, again looks like a fantastic player defensive midfielder can play in a few other positions if need be and I think he'll be an absolutely fantastic player for us. 29 years old, so he's got a couple of seasons left in him. And I just think, uh, yeah, I think he was a good buy. Uh, 22k as well, up to 32k. So not costing us too much. The last guy we got in is Tyra Warren, central defender. I think he's really good. He's got absolutely fantastic physicals, I feel. Um, mentals aren't too bad. And again, he's got the stats in where they matter. So I think he'll do a good job for us in that central defense. And we needed, again, like I said, it was one of our weak areas. I really did feel like we needed to sort of get a few uh, players in. So overall, I'm really happy with the way the transfers have gone. I'll quickly show you how we've been getting on since the last game. I left you after the Rovers game, I believe it was. Um, as you can see, it's been reasonably mixed. We've been on a quite nice little unbeaten run, a couple of draws, a couple of wins. Um, and then we played Rochdale, and that was just it was it was an absolute terrible game. Uh, we played horrible. I mean, Hunsrum getting sent off in the 63rd minute didn't help, but yeah, they just absolutely ripped us apart. Um, we were absolutely shockingly bad. We actually sort of felt like felt like we were going to get back into it at one point, um, and then yeah, it was just it was one of those games where you just we couldn't do absolutely anything. But as you can see, we we sort of play well. It's been a really mixed season. I'm surprised we're in first, but then when you go to the competition, when you go to the league and have a look at the league, you can see exactly the same for every team. You know, like the teams at the top. So Rovers have lost nine, drawn seven, and won fifteen. You know, the team below Port Vale fourteen, eight, ten, fourteen, seven, ten. So I think this is a very difficult league. I don't think there's like some you don't get outstanding teams that just dominate it, um, or especially this season it looks like. So it's it's difficult. Every team can beat everyone sort of thing um which is good makes it interesting but god i wish we could just score a few more goals we are in a good position still we are sort of six seven points clear of um the playoffs so we are in a very good position and we we i think we, we are on course for promotion but just a very difficult league at the moment uh finances are just losing money uh, i'm not sure why but we are losing money we, we really do need to Start making some money as you can see we've lost quite a lot i know we've had a lot go on this season but i really want us to make money not lose it so hopefully we'll start making some money very very soon uh squad wise no there's a couple of bits of news that zach not suspended he got sent off a couple of games ago hunstrom obviously suspended he got sent off in rochdale and apart from that uh kennedy's injured but he won't play anyway so apart from that overall it's not too bad um and I think that's it. I think we'll get into the game. Like I said, I'm running out of time, so I don't want this episode to go on forever. Um, so let's get straight into it and see how we get on. Um, so this team we're going to go with. It's going to be Hadler and Goal, Baghdadi, Warren, Bowton and Hill. We're going to have Flanagan, Grant, Lundstrom, uh, Logan up there with Deontes and Billy Brown. I've dropped Eddie Brown for a little bit because he's just not playing particularly well at the moment. Um, so I thought I'll give Billy Brown a bit of a chance. I might bring Barlow on instead of um being trained for now um and just you know 
in case we need a bit more of an attacking option. But we'll see. How we, we'll see. It should hopefully work okay. It's obviously, I really don't know how this game's going to go because we've been doing so well and then all of a sudden we just play rubbish. It's it's really a very strange um, sort of way of, this this season's very strange. It's going really weird. I, I don't know how to explain it really. Um, okay, we'll get into it. We'll say, right, um, that one there, that's gone down well. We'll give them the old passionate talk quickly. And we'll get straight into the game. Yeah, I'm actually recording this like uh, was it quarter to eight, just before I go to work, um, on Friday morning because that's how much little time I've had with the World Cup, watching games and NCT or antenatal classes for you guys who don't know. I've just been having no time at all. It's been absolutely insane this week. So uh, I'm hoping that. It will be a bit easier next week with less World Cup games. Um, I don't have my antenatal classes as much. I've got a bit of a freer weekend as well to play some games. So hopefully next week won't be as much of a rush for me. But with 15 minutes gone and not much has really happened. We had a little bit of a chance there but nothing concrete. And it's a uh, commentary coming forward now. Tate's got the ball and it's a good save by Hadler. But yeah, commentary. I, I, I love commentary. I had such a good save in uh, with Coventry um, but Logan now with the ball he might be able to break it he's uh, got a couple of players around him though can he check back and not just stop why did he just stop why I don't understand that it makes a really good little run all he had to do was check the ball back but instead he just stops um, alright Parker launches it out uh, and they get their take now to Harris and they go 1-0 up but Rovers did I think I just saw Rovers are one nil down as well, which helps us out quite a bit. But I mean, literally, that was what two balls, one, two. Harris gets the ball and scores. So annoying, uh, so annoying as well. But we could still get back into this, hopefully. Um, yes, I, I get that. I keep losing Michael Tate. Uh, Forty minutes gone though, and it's to be honest, commentary looked like the better side at the moment. Uh, as they come forward again, Samuel now gets across him. Uh, Warren just clears it. Uh, Belton now clears it, uh, and we do finally clear it. Brown gets it to Dantes. Dantes is all by himself though at the moment. He needs to check back, and he does. Grant to Logan. Logan now to Grant. Knocks it out to Hill. Hill got he got a chance here. Puts it to Logan to Brown to Dantes. Dantes tries to find Hill, I think, but he's straight up a player. And now Coventry come forward, uh, and. <sighs> He just ran past him. He didn't even try to tackle him. Oh, so annoying. Again, um, we are not playing particularly well. So they put in a corner, but Belton does clear it. Uh, Logan's not going to get there, unfortunately. And they get another chance to do it. Baghdadi clears it, and it goes out for another corner. Can we hold off until half time? Before he, you know, another corner, Weller puts it in. Can we clear it? It's a goal kick this time round. Um, but yeah, we are not playing particularly well. We do need to change a few things around, I feel. Um, team talk, right, what can we say assertively? I expect to see a better performance. Tactically, what can we do? Let's go here quickly. We'll quickly do that. Um, who's not playing particularly well? Flanagan's not playing particularly well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this here. Change that around. Uh, and we'll bring on... Where are you, Grimshaw? There. We'll bring Grimshaw on. Um, Billy Brown's not playing particularly well, so we'll bring on Eddie Brown as well. Uh, go back to this sort of formation and just see if we can actually do something here. Change a bit of formation around, a few players around, and see if it does make the difference for us. Um, with 15 minutes, we need to score a goal, really. We need to try and get a goal as soon as possible because this is not looking too good for us. Rovers are 2 0 down, which is helping us quite a lot keeps us three points clear but some of the other teams are starting to catch us up as well which is where we need to, this is why we need to get a goal at least with 17 minutes gone it's all quiet nothing's happening at all really uh joe hill's not playing particularly well um uh, everyone else is playing reasonably okay uh we're gonna bring barlow on and see if we can get a bit more of an attacking going here we're not having any shots they're not really having many shots from the looks of it it's just been a bit of a boring game isn't it we're going to go to control as well and maybe this is our opportunity Baghdadi's Grimshaw gets it out 
to Deontay, who's got a bit of room. Gets it into the middle to Barlow. Barlow to Brown. Brown gets it. Get in there, Brown. Get in there. You absolute beauty. That is such an important goal for us. Such an important goal. Get in there, Brown. Oh, my God. That was so... Such an important... Oh, I can't express how important a goal is. Bit lucky there. Deontay's with the cross. But that was a fantastic cross there by Barlow to uh, Brown. And we... Finally, we might even get another goal here. Warren. Oh, that was so... Guys, just keeper was in the right position. And with 87, 88 minutes gone, we've somehow managed to save this game. But they've got a chance here now. We've got to be so careful. Good save. Or is it just over, actually? Um, and literally, with the time coming down, we might have one more opportunity. Brown now gets it to Lumstrom. Lumstrom to Barlow. Barlow to Deontes. Deontes with a shot. Uh, and that's the end of the game. And we draw it one all. We are not playing particularly well in that game. But... We got the, a half decent result, so I'll say unlucky boys. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse for us. Um, but we definitely need to. I mean, teams like that, we should be beating. We should be beating them so much better. Um, right, quickly go through some of the news. Grimshaw makes his debut. Brought in pay, pay increase. That's nice. And uh, someone I tried getting is being blocked. Um, okay, I can't remember what that was for. Sports scientists. Oh, um, okay, fair enough. Um, right, competition-wise, we are still top. We are now four points clear, which is fantastic for us. But and there's still six points between sort of Port Vale and us. So again, certain teams that are up here are losing, and that. But we do need to make sure we start winning some games. Um, we've got Doncaster next. Who are where are Doncaster? They're in third, so it's a important game we really do need to win that one uh next when are we going to come back first quickly um right when are we going to come back we are going to come back for we will come back for the chesterfield game so i'll play another good set of games we'll come back for the chesterfield game um and hopefully we'll be uh, still top of the league uh thank you guys for watching i know it's a bit of a short episode but uh, remember to like and subscribe if uh, you enjoyed the episode. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.